Hello everybody, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a colouring chat in Spellbound, which is a Relax With Art special. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I do appreciate every single one of you. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back and sticking with me on my colouring journey. Now, I have started this picture because I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but I'm doing this one, which is a pumpkin with a hat on. Um, so let's start. So health update I am much better now um, as you know if you watch the weekly vlog I've had a chest infection it lasted two weeks and I was really really poorly for a while however I am now feeling much much better I still got a bit of a cough and I'm still very tired but I am better it wasn't Covid though you would think it was with the amount of how long it's lasted and the fact that I'm still tired Paul has it now and he's very poorly he's actually resting in the master bedroom at the moment he's off work ill Jennifer's fine and she's at school because I'm recording this in the afternoon before I pick her up after I finish my job for the day. So yes, in, after I finish work I do various things. I do colouring videos and things like that. You know, my videos, TikToks for my Marilyn channel as well as my book channel. Um, and I also do eBay, which I'm still very slow at getting back into but I am trying. You know, tomorrow will be an eBay day. So I'm just going to film as much as I can today and then my next filming day will be on Wednesday. So that means I've got every other day sorted and then Thursday is eBay and Friday is shopping with my dad. So for the first time in 11 years I managed to lose my security pass at work. Typical. Never lost it before but luckily a new one will be arriving in the office hopefully tomorrow if not tomorrow, in the next day or so. And I'm not back in the office on Friday anyway, so it'll be there by the time I get back. Then I just got to get make sure everything on it's working, which is fine, I'm happy with that, as long as it's there when I get back. I feel so silly for losing it, and I've never lost one before in my life. But it happens, you know. Could be worse. So it's all go over here in the UK. If you watch the news, you will have seen it, that uh, we're going through Prime Ministers, like we go through hot dinners. Our local pub was in the newspaper yesterday, one of our locals, is in the day, in Sunday Mirror because she she puts funny little things outside and she says, only two more Prime Ministers to Christmas. So there's a lot about how we're counting down by Prime Ministers at, at the Grove rather than, um, like, days. So, yeah, so basically, obviously, Boris Johnson resigned a while back and Liz Truss took over. She was in power for 44 days and then she resigned because she was an absolute flaming disaster. It's now uh, thought that it'll be Rishi Sunak because he he knows how to help a country that's in dire straits with poverty because he's a billionaire and his wife is richer than the Queen was. Well, now the King is. So there you go. He knows how to help those of us. Well, yeah. Give up some of your money to those of us who, who haven't got it. Well, not me so much. We're doing okay. But he's got to do something about this cost of living crisis. What we really need is a general election, but it's not likely to happen. They don't want one because they'll lose. They think they'll lose, which is likely. Um, so they want to hold on to power as much as they can. But that's that. I don't know when I mean. I know who I vote for, and that is my choice. But that's neither here nor there. So I am back into collecting Marilyn stuff quite big. Not lots of big stuff, but the things like the books, which I like to collect. There's a few. I, I've actually worked it out that there are 32 on Amazon I haven't got. I think there's three on pre-order as well. And I've got, you know, and there's some I haven't read. Now, a lot of these books are going to be a load of trash, but I like to have them because then I can warn other people and I'll write reviews of them all because oh, I'm, I'm currently going through a reread of my Marilyn book slowly and yeah I'm actually going to write reviews and put them on there uh, saying don't bother with this book it's a waste of space um, and I'm going to put all these reviews up there as well as um, I'll put them on a Marilyn blog when I get around to setting it up because I've got so much on the go what with YouTube and TikTok and other things I think I've read 169 books this year now I'm rereading Weird Sisters by Terry Pratchett, which is really weird to read because obviously a few years ago I was in a production of Weird Sisters. So it's very, very, very odd to um, read lines that I actually spoke. 
but it's good. I'm enjoying read rereading it. So I also want to read Wizard reread Wizard's First Rule by Terry Goodkind. But that might wait till next month. What else has been going on? Oh, Doctor Who was on last night. I know you some of you probably haven't seen this, so if you um don't want to know anything about it, skip forward about 30 seconds and you'll be fine. But yeah, last night, Jodie Whittaker regenerated into David Tennant, which is going to be interesting. And during the little clip for the next year, next episode, it did show Shooty Gatawa as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. But there you go. So it was nice how they incorporated the other doctors and the other companion, old companions in as well. It's really cool. Really cool thing to do, I think. But there we go. So that's Doctor Who. What else has been going on? Not a lot really. It's been pretty quiet. Jennifer's still going to football. She goes to dance most weeks. Sometimes on a Wednesday though because it's midweek she's absolutely shattered from the first three days and she falls asleep and doesn't go. But she does like going and she went last week. I had to take her because Paul's poorly and she really enjoyed herself. So I probably have to take her again this week. But that's okay. As long as she enjoys herself I don't care. So yeah, she enjoyed it, which is nice. She loves football. Oh, I love watching her play. Running around, she scored a couple of goals. Which is nice. But I, 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 got, I, I can't talk about TV because I don't really watch it. Other than, like I said, I watched Doctor Who last night. and Because Jennifer wants to watch YouTube all the time. It's hard to get her off of it. You can. Like last night, we turned it off and we watched what we wanted and Paul watched something for a bit and then I put Doctor Who on because I really wanted to see it. And I'm really glad I did. It was a really good episode. But other, I don't really, I, I tend to watch on catch up if I can, which isn't very often. It has to be in the afternoons like this if I've got nothing to film, which at the moment isn't happening. I haven't watched the rest of the new series Doc Martin, which I think is finished now, but I haven't seen it. And ghosts. I've watched one episode or half of an episode. That's, that's what it's like. But there's lots of stuff I want. I've got loads of films I want to watch. I've got The Secret Life of Marilyn Monroe coming, which is the biopic that stars Kelly Garner, because I've not seen it. Um, I missed it when it was on. For whatever reason, I can't remember. I just never got around to watching it. So I um, I've ordered it on DVD. It hasn't arrived yet. I'm getting a bit worried about it. But there have been a lot of postal strikes. Uh, recently so that might be it. I'll have to have a quick look on my eBay to see what's going on with it because I did order it from eBay but yeah it's all good so I guess I'm just trying to get on and enjoy so I will be counting how many colouring books I've got soon how many physicals and how many PDFs so I've got some end of year stats to share with you when I do my 2023 plans. Of course there will be two of those, there'll be reading plans as well, there'll be uh, what I plan to do with my reading goal next year as well as my colouring information. So will we be doing a 10 books to finish in 2023? It is very likely. Whether or not we actually finish the things is another thing. So, check my phone. I've got to keep an eye on the time because I've got to go and get Jennifer soon. As I've run out of time, again, it's ridiculous. I just never got any time to do anything. But, yeah, so. Christmas is coming. It's Halloween on Monday. It's also payday. So, this afternoon I've got to blow up her skeleton blow up skeleton I think it's a skeleton anyway put the lights up in the window just so that people know that they can knock on the door Jennifer's got a little witch's outfit so cute and then uh... yeah it's all good So I'm using the Arteza Everblend black marker because the only other one I've got and I've got I add it up here is the um oh god 
Oh, what's it called? Um, the Windsor and Newton. I love those markers though, they're absolutely stunning. I used them the other day on something and they just, oh, they're just so beautiful to use. Whoops. He went through the spider's leg. I'm going to give him, I'm going to make him a glittery spider, so that's not so bad. I might use my um, pentels on them. We'll just see. Oh, it won't be a sec. I thought I heard somebody at the door, but it wasn't for us, so that's okay. It's hard to tell whether it's our door or not. Poor old Paul, he's asleep next door in the other room. Are you dressing up for Halloween, guys? Anybody out there doing anything? We can dress up at work, but I don't know if I can be bothered because I've got to take my dad shopping, which means. If I put off on a load of makeup, I've got to get myself all cleaned up to take him shopping afterwards. So, yeah, let's see how I feel. I might, I might not. Yeah, <laughs> spider. So cute. I'm going to have to finish him off camera around that bit because the black's going to get in the way. Right, see what we got. We got an orange. Pumpkin orange. Should we use pumpkin orange on the pumpkin? Would that be a good idea, do you think? So sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Um, yeah, we'll use this one for now. We've got several different oranges and you can use them different ones so I'll finish that bit off camera because I can't get into it with the pen because of the um, the tripod which just moved as you can see mm. keeps moving I'm so sorry I'm going to have to find a better way of doing it. I don't like filming on my phone because it doesn't phone, film for very long. And I'm not very good at editing on my phone. Though I am practicing, so I might start doing it on that. I have got one that will attach to the, to the desk. But the light on it's not working. It's very annoying. If they get them in again, I will get them. They probably will at some point. He's a very cute little pumpkin. Yeah, and Christmas is coming so fast. I have started buying Christmas presents. I've got a lot of stuff for Jennifer's stocking and I got some for Paul. I'm gonna get some for Mum this month. We got money aside for Jennifer's, so it'll be Mum's and some more bits for Paul. And then at the end of November, it'll be some for my dad. And I just pick up bits for Jennifer as and when I see them, so. She loves things like stickers though. So I always get her some of those. how many Marilyn books there I haven't got. I know some of them are rubbish. I know some of them are rubbish. Um, but I'm surprised because I do buy them every now and again and I sort of put off doing the ones that are... A, a, lot, of them are non, a, a lot of them are fiction as well. There's a lot of fictional stories so I'm, I am slowly getting them because they can be quite good, especially if they are out of the normal Marilyn lifespan. So if you take it 
as say is after she died but she didn't say for instance die she survived for whatever reason like what happened to Marilyn by what's his name Rigby is Alan Rigby or something his name was that was brilliant I really enjoyed that so something just a little bit different I like you know, whereas like something like Blonde really took it the other way and overdid it and it was just about her her life, but it wasn't her life, it was like made up. Which is fine, you can fictionalise it, but they made it so miserable. They made her life so miserable. It was like her life had joy. She was she was happy as well. She had happy days. Yes, she may have been generally miserable as she herself said, but I I'd say most of us are generally miserable. We have very, very happy happy times. It's just that being on camera, her sad times were focused on very, very much. So I think um, it's easy for us to, to look at her and, and, and I wish they wouldn't focus on that. Focus on her triumphs, her joys, which Blonde does not do at all in any way. It doesn't mention her production company or filming of Prince in the Showgirl. It doesn't mention her you know, studying at the actor's studio, or any of that really. It, it bypasses all of the stuff that made Marilyn Marilyn, and it's really awful. It's very sad that they did that, because she deserved better. She deserved so much better. This, again, is an orange from, well, it's Vermilion, for Marteza. So use this one so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be the first bit was eight it was 14. it's not going to be very long because I have to go and get Jen but we will continue doing this picture on Thursday on Wednesday which is our next filming day try and remember to actually press record next time so it was really silly of me Like I said, I will finish that bit off off camera so that it's it's done when you come back. Oh, I love this picture. These are so cute. I've actually done two in this book. I don't think I've marked two, but I have done two in here. I might have marked them both. So this is the third one. This is unusual for me to do three in, in one book in in a month. So relax with art. You were very lucky because I never do this. It's just it's a really good book. There's some really good images in it that I've enjoyed colouring, so. And I'm going to continue to enjoy colouring them, I think. So. There's been some good books out this year. I mean, the thing is, people put out, there's so many books that come out, you can't keep up with them all. I can't colour that many pages that I want to a month. And I, I mean, I've coloured over 20 pictures this month. And I, I can't, I can't keep up. And my battery's died, so I'm going to have to change the battery. I found a battery, amazingly, that appears to be working, at least at the moment. So, fingers crossed it stays that way. I can never find anything, so do a little bit more. There won't be much more, it's only going to be about a 20 minute video, I'm afraid, because I just haven't got the time. I had to get back from the office and then I had to have lunch. I made Paul some lunch because he wasn't feeling very well. He hadn't eaten. So I've got to then make him some. Keep him happy. Got a headache now. I think it might be the fumes from these alcohol markers that give me headaches. But I love using the markers. I love using pencils. I've done some pencils as well this one. Don't get me wrong because I do love them. But I haven't done as many as I could. Um, I just find pencils take so long. Not that that should make any difference about whether or not I use pencils. Um, but yeah. some pencils I need to swatch so um got two sets we'll be doing that on camera at some point I just gotta find time to do that I'll try and do it one day when Jennifer's out with Paul 
like if he takes her to to dance because they walk down i've got a bit of time I've got about an hour or so a bit more than an hour to do filming or something but if i have to take her obviously i don't get that time Uh, she likes walking down with him. They walk down with her friend Alex and Alex's dad, and they—it's really nice. They have a lovely, lovely walk, and then Paul and, uh, and Alex's dad go for a drink. And so on. So it's really nice. So. Oh. If he's not feeling very well, I have to take her, which I don't mind because she has a good time. But I like to use the time for doing my other things, such as my current fumal minutes. Um,